Hello everyone, this looks to be the second to last video that will be recorded before the start of the war. So, I got scout necks up my ass all around here and every single bit of information that we can in fact absorb. Scout necks are really important. So, yeah, I'm now making up stuff. And I was advised to make railroads around Essen. Now, do I actually have the supplies for that? I hope I do. Essentially, Essen, Moonstar. I believe. Duisburg? And then we have a pullback here to um, Gottingen. I know it's that wrong, I do not speak German, just because of the German blood. So that's all done. So scout next. Hmm, not scout next, these guys. Oh, so he's going from motorized. A little bit late, though. I see his name. He's going for the tanky one, so it won't matter as much. Interesting. It's about time I started pulling my troops to the front, though. So anyone who is literally not the scout mix needs to start going to the left. There's a scout mech here, huh? Yeah, because that's a little bit too big for it to not be one, yeah. So let's move one here. My idea is to basically get like scout mechs like all, all the way up the wazoo in this. Honestly. So I'm gonna go to province administration and I'm gonna make more scout mechs. Four more, and that should be all I need for hopefully a reconnaissance victory, if that's even a word. But this will also give me time to like, gather up my resources to actually make more anti mech guns. So it's a combination of that plus the uh, mech gun stuff. So, uh, yeah. Let's come over here to support now. See if we can upgrade any of these yet. We can upgrade the anti mech gun, so let's do that. I'll need to be on it for the seventh day, though, especially the seventh, because uh, getting that done as soon as possible will be very important indeed. So he has a heavy mech. Interesting, not the best choice, in my opinion. But you know what? If that's what he thinks the best choice is, then let him think that. I'll have all the mechs stacked up together and then I'll split them away from once they're all in the front. So what I'm gonna have to do is like something like this. To where I grab these three militia. Scoop over here. So basically I'll probably have them like all stacked up down here. I know this is a lot, I will split it up though, once we uh, get here. Alright, so these bigger stacks moving over. But yeah, the idea is to basically have like a lot of scout mechs up and around these areas so we know where they're at at all times. So at this point, we'd have some idea if actually been moving through the water, which is ideally what I'd want. Like another place I want to put a scout mech is here. So that way we have like complete uh, water control over here, like information wise. And then with my other three scout mechs, I'd probably just move them down here because it looks like our ally isn't upgrading them. The South German Union, which is actually kind of bad in my opinion, because he doesn't have the range. But yeah, it looks like they might be focusing on going for uh, close to the South German Union, which I do respect. But they gotta realize the very moment war kicks off, their uh, scumbag over here is getting destroyed. Like, I'm pretty sure immediately. Because these guys do only do two to this, okay. Two, four, six, eight, okay. But they're just not gonna have a good time, is all I mean. 
So I decided to push this, take out Grunnim again, unless he's making more. I mean, this is kind of terrible to make against me, because I'm literally anti-armor. And, uh, it... I'm a keeper. I'm a little bit worried because everyone's stacking down south and no one's stacking up north. So they could push north flank and then this entire thing is screwed. You know? So who's over here? So of course we got the South German Union. We got the Sardom of Russia. 